Today we try to crash the game with Engineer using as many missiles as we can. There's just something about seeing a thousand ATGs on my screen at once that makes me smile. So without further ado, let's jump right in. Everyone knows how fun Engineer can be, and everyone knows how fun Engineer can be with Command On. Because today we're trying to crash the game. We're looking at ATGs, looking at pocket ICBMs, looking at maybe a live state cell for an extra turret. We're crashing the game with Engineer today, and we're using missiles to do it. We will most certainly be hitting up the Newt Altar because we're gonna need red items. We're gonna need a lot of red items. We're talking Clovers and we're talking Pocket ICBMs. Other than that, there isn't a whole lot we're gonna want. Maybe a Hard Light Afterburner, you know, to get a little bit more on our, you know, utility skill here. But other than that, I mean, we're looking for missiles and we're looking for missiles. Our very first item. So, four white items. The goal isn't necessarily to crash the game. The goal to start is just going to be a little bit of speed, a little bit of defense, nothing too crazy. We don't want to get too strong too fast because then we run the risk of killing enemies too quickly. The goal is to have as many missiles in the air as we possibly can at the same time. And that's going to be what crashes the game. So if we get things like watches and crit and even focus crystals, anything like that, we're gonna be killing things too fast. The goal has to be keep our damage low, our defense and healing high, until we can get regen scrap, ATGs, and a whole lot of clovers. Our first green. Now I think I'm actually gonna avoid ATGs for now. I wanna see if I can get five regen scrap on this stage. I, I don't think I will, but if we can get a red right off the bat, that would be huge. And so, you know, as a stationary engineer turret type of guy, we gotta do a bungus or two. Let's hit up two bungus because now our turrets are gonna be able to feed off each other once we respawn them. We are given another green. I really don't think we'll get enough regen scrap for it, but we will have at least enough to get a red after stage two, I can almost guarantee you. I will grab some bleed just to help out the turrets kind of in the front half of our run because bleed is really good on those little turrets. So we'll do that, some fire rate. And we'll kind of save the big missile guys for later. For an equipment, I'm actually going to grab the Crowdfunder. We're not really going to use it for a little while, but we'll have it so when we want to proc just a ton of ATGs, we can use that. Oh, we got a red out of a large chest. Let's go. I think to start off, let's just, let's do a Clover. Let's keep it easy. We'll do a Clover. Nothing's really gonna happen yet. It's gonna help out the bleed a little bit, but it's a good start. Okay, I genuinely just spent like two minutes searching for the teleporter, and of course it's this spawn. Like, why Why did I assume it was any other spawn than the farthest one away? Luckily, we can put our turrets down here, kind of all right next to each other, so they bungus it up. And uh, it should be pretty simple. I'm not too concerned about this teleporter, I'll tell you that for sure. We are quite strong for a nice little command engineer build. There we go. He is down and our green puts us at four total greens. Almost enough for a red in the bazaar, but we didn't quite get that lucky. And so I think I will grab an ATG. Knowing that we can't get one anyway, I'm going to grab that ATG just because we have the clover. And now I can replace one of these guys. One has an ATG now, and there, there it is. There it is, it's already starting. And even with command on, it's just gonna taunt me like that. It's really gonna do that. You are so cringe, Mr. Newt. You knew what I wanted and you held it in front of my face. Oh, as you may expect, stage two is going fine. There is no problems here, and we got another red. Which I think means we're gonna do another clover? Do I do another clover or do I do an afterburner? Because I think we want to wait for the pocket ICBM until we have much higher attack speed. But uh, yeah, let's do, let's do another clover just so we have even more missiles firing out all the time. Oh, and you know we're about to hit this void cradle. You know we're gonna hit the void cradle. It is gonna be beautiful. What do we got? And yup, yup. Lysate cell. Here we go. We get another turret. That is a third. I don't know if I have the mod on to, uh, you know, infinite turrets. I don't think that we even need it, though. I think three turrets is going to be enough to do what we need to do. I have realized through that endeavor, though, I have no healing. So let me, let me try to find something good in here. Uh, we are going to pick up a safer spaces. It's going to make things a lot easier. The only healing we have is the bongus, which, to be fair, is good. 
but I need a cloak. Actually, while we're here, might as well go right down. I already put a turret on a button and click the other one. Now, I actually don't know if they give me bands regardless or if they uh, if they just give me random greens. I actually have no idea, so I'm kind of hoping they give me like random greens that I can pick from because I don't really want bands, but uh, oh, they do. Cool, I get to choose. So that is two more regen scrap. I pranked you. I'm doing a Rose Buckler. <laughs> Rose Buckler, I think, is just going to be helpful when I have to get out of a situation. Again, that armor and healing early game is going to be helpful. Not that we don't have the damage. We all know that we do. But, hey, better safe than sorry. I hate to die in the middle of a video and have to reset it, you know? Okay, loot is sufficient. Confidence is high and Bungus is popping. I think we're, uh, we are more than okay to take on the Beetle Queen. Oh my, there's one right on top of my face. That is, I don't, I don't love that very much. We actually are, let's put on a Crowdfunder. We have 1,700 gold, so we might as well use it a little bit. You know, get some bleed up on this guy. Look at the bleed go. Look at the bleed go. I mean, <laughs> yeah, yeah, we're strong. Yeah, we're strong. We're feeling good. We are feeling great. And we did get a yellow. Now, here's the thing. I kind of want to crash the game with missiles specifically and nothing else so I might not even mess too much with the yellows I'm gonna pick one up but it might be kind of a lame one maybe we hit him with dare I even say a planula I might even hit him to start with a little neural I don't I don't even necessarily want to do planula yet maybe we will a little bit later planula is just kind of bad so I'm gonna do a neural just to get a little bit of extra regen up keep us a little bit healthier keep the drones or the uh, turrets up a little bit longer look at this Look at how magical this little bungus Venn diagram is. Oh, yeah. We just can't die. We're invincible. Mr. Newt, I've come to take at least one legendary from you. A free legendary now every time I go in here. We're going to keep doing regen scrap. Do not fret. I think it's time. Ah, it's not time. I lied. We're doing an afterburner. So now we get even more missiles on our utility skill, which is very fun. Then, next time we come in here, we are going to be hitting that... Pocket ICBM. Wow, we really did just rinse through the overloading Beetle Guard, huh? I mean, these... <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's that's good. The Hardlight Afterburn is actually even better than I thought, because look at this. Look at that. Now all these guys just go right to it, and every single one of them misses. Is that not incredible? Here we go, Void Cradle. What are we looking at for our Void Cradle? I'm hoping it's... I guess I'm kind of hoping it's a gray. I don't really know. I, I don't really want greens, you know? I don't really want poly loot because that's going to take away a little bit from our, our thing. We obviously don't want void bands and we don't want plimp, I'll tell you that for sure. I am getting to the point where I'm thinking maybe we need a gasoline. You know what I mean? Like maybe we just need one gas because there's <laughs> just a lot going on. So I am going to grab myself one gasoline to continue on. And we were given this here. So I'm going to pick up another one and see. Do I have the mod installed? I don't know if I turn it on. I might. I don't. I don't think I have it on, so it might just be a waste of an item. But either way, I don't think we really need any more turrets. I kind of want to do this as vanilla as possible. Oh no, we have it installed. We do have that mod installed, so we can have uh, quite a few turrets then. So if we need to, we'll go above four. But at the moment, we have four turrets that are ready for action. Wait, I realize we don't have the mod installed because I have four charges technically but only three turrets can be added at a time. So it will be vanilla, which is good. We want to keep it as vanilla as possible. But three turrets is going to be what we have. We can put them out quicker, though, because we do technically still have the fourth charge. We just can't have a fourth turret. But the, the cooldown and the having four of them means we get to place them faster once they die or once we get new items to reset. There is an adaptive chest. Now, we don't really care. I'm just going to look for a green and get it if I can time it correctly. I just, I just need, yeah. It doesn't matter what the green is because we're doing a regen scrap. Let's do teleporter because our fire rate is much higher now. I put ourselves at four soldier syringes, which makes everything happen faster. And we're feeling good. We have a lot of damage, of course. Our drones have immediately died. So this, I mean, our turrets, that's not great. We're not in a great spot, I'm going to be honest with you. I actually kind of need to upgrade some of our stuff a little bit more because we're, uh, yeah, we need more defense. Okay, turrets, you got to keep each other alive. It's very important that you guys do that. Otherwise, we're going to be in trouble. So you guys have to stay, stay alive, stop that. I need to, oh, I, you know what I did? I didn't get any repulsion armors. That's going to be a big thing next stage, which I'm going to try to get a lot of. Also, a crowdfunder's coming in. I don't know what to tell you. Crowdfunder is coming in. It, it's, it's just got to happen. We're making it happen. We're putting crowdfunder out there. 
Engineer's turning into a proc build on himself. We can't be using the turrets. There we go. Crowdfunder is so much better. Oh my. Now the tide changes. We have 10 regen scrap, which means two legendaries, and I know exactly what I'm getting for both. We are doing a clove, and we're doing a pocket ICBM. It is time for the pocket ICBM, the clover, the afterburner, and three turrets to do some work. Siren's Call. We have a Void Seed. Doesn't, doesn't really do much for us. Void Seed, of course, isn't like really going to change the game at all. But ready? Boom, 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 boom. Look at, all, look at all the missiles get down there. All right, turrets, get ready. Here we go. We are putting up a little bit of a stand here, and here we go. We're going to start getting some repulsion armors. It has to happen. I need a little bit of damage reduction on these guys, because they are getting blasted. Our Elder Lemurian is voided. We're just sending every... Oh my, yep, yep, yep. The, the Clover with the ATGs and the Pocket ICBM have made this a uh, game-changing run. This is... <laughs> no wonder these items are good. It's almost like... They're legendaries or something. Oops, Alloy Worship Unit has been summoned. I don't, I didn't mean to do that. So let's hope we can deal with these little guys first. I don't want to avoid an Alloy Worship Unit, it's scary. Well, we're down here now. Oh wait, the Alloy Worship Unit is just getting absolutely chonked on by the Void Seed. That's perfect. Wait, this is great. I don't have to do anything. I'm just, I'm just hanging out. Alloy Worship Unit has got no chance. <laughs> All right, yeah, I'll watch. I'll just watch as it happens. If you ever have a Void Seed here, this is the way to do it. We do have this guy, which I kind of don't love. Not really loving his vibe, I'll be honest with you. It's kind of a weird vibe, not a huge fan. Four hour red. I mean, at this point, it's just Clover. So we're just going to be doing Clover, 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 and moving our attack speed as high as it can go. And that's, that's the whole thing, right? That's all we really need to do. So I'm actually going to do Teleporter now, because we have nine grand, so we can very easily loot the rest of the stage afterwards we've already looted a good amount of it so let's hit teleporter maybe hope for a yellow so we can pop a planula in there for the little turret guys we'll set up our wall right here one two and we'll put one guy right in the middle and let's do it let's hit this thing wandering vagrant what else did you expect we got missiles going up everywhere atg's going up everywhere oh my yeah that last trip to the uh, bazaar Really was a game changer, wasn't it? I mean, goodness. All right, I got good news and bad news. Good news, teleporter is done. Bad news, forgot to hit the newt. So, no reds this time around. Uh, but hey, we got lots more reds to get. I'm gonna grab a Tenta bobble from this. It doesn't really do much for us, but it is kind of a fun, I don't know why I opened that, we don't need new equipment. Tenta bobble, I mean, it's, you know, we don't we don't want plant, we don't want poly loot. So what else are we going to get in the green department other than a tenta bobble? We do have a voided gut, but our damage is ridiculous. I mean, it's insane. So I'm not, like, too worried. I'm liking how the other enemies are just killing themselves in the void seed, so that's cool. But other than that, I mean, we're just kind of, we're throwing stuff. Here goes the big guy's explosion. Gups are now gone again. Another voided gut, and we're... We're moving through. The final two monsters remain. You can see the amount of missiles that are in the sky now. It took kind of a while to get there. But now that we have this many missiles, it's really starting to pan out nice. I think from here the plan is simple. I think yellow items, we go planula. I think white items, we go soldier syringe. I think green items, we go regen scrap. And red items, we go clover. And that's, and that's it. <laughs> I think that's the whole rest of the plan. And so that's what we're going to be doing. Oh, another red. And that's a clover. And I heard a gup. And so, oh, double gup. Double gup time. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Watch this already. Ready? Ready? Just like, what is that? You know what I mean? We're in loop one and the gups are gone. They're, they're out of here. No turrets even around. They're still way up there. This is just engineering the missiles, baby. Oh my god, even another red. I mean, this is... <laughs> oh yeah. We're looking at six cloves already. This is going to be going... We're going to start to move real quick, real soon. All right, it is time. We set up turrets on the very edge of this. We go... One. Two. Three. We're hitting teleporter. We hit new and we looped teleporter. We have missiles everywhere. Grandparents gonna blast me off the edge. Oh, it didn't. Nice. Very kind. I appreciate that. Just, I mean, uh, just a million damage. I'm getting moved. Uh, there's nothing to be done here. Get me out here! Get me out here! <laughs> Thank you. Grandparents are down. I mean, missiles everywhere. But we have a lot more work to do if we actually want to crash the game. I forgot to mention at the beginning. Bottom left, we have our FPS counter. And we are looking very good at the moment. It would appear the turrets are most certainly doing their job. We are, uh, 
we're chilling. <laughs> they are extremely strong. I'm actually glad we don't have more than three. Because if we did, I think we might get too powerful too fast. So having three at the maximum, I think, does help us in the end. And with that all finished, we are off to... No! <laughs> no! It's a chest we missed. We're off to blue. That chest had a red in it, I swear. I know it. I know it did. I'm mad. Two reds. Give me these. I would go for one more, but we don't have quite enough regen scrap for it. So we're doing a clover. And then this one, actually, I'm going to switch it up a little bit. We're going to do a clover. Oh, interesting. You don't see this very often. We could go here. Uh, we won't, because that's no good. We will go to uh, Rolling Hills, though. Loop. Oh, I like the stage aesthetic here. It's like, is this vanilla? Wait, are this like white grass? I kind of like it. Is that normal? Why does it look like the whole map is covered in fur? Is this a normal? Is this like part of a loop? I don't know. Why have I never noticed this? This feels extreme, but <laughs> I kind of like it. A little bit, a little bit of extra decorations. And this is the part of the run where it starts to get crazy. I mean, he turned voided and unvoided in a matter of a second. Here's what we're going to do. I know, I understand, I understand, I got a polyloot. What do you mean you got a polyloot? What do you mean it's not a mess? It, look, polyloot is pretty good at proccing other things. Okay, that's kind of the goal, that's kind of the reason we got it. I think that'll be helpful. There is also just kind of like a beetle queen hiding in this corner. I don't really know what he's doing here, but we're gonna remove the beetle queen from exist. Yeah, yeah, I mean, it's just that simple. It genuinely is that simple. There's nothing else to this engineered gameplay than point, shoot, kill, and then you leave. You just go somewhere else, buy some more items, and we move. to a mound shrine. That'll be quite helpful if we're trying to crash the game. Now, the question is, where is the newt? I think it can spawn up there. So I'm going to go grab an equipment that I saw right down here. And we're going to go get that guy. Because let's be honest, I don't really think we're going to be using the crowdfunder very much. I, I just don't see a use for it. So let's just, boop, hit that and we'll go get the newt. Okay, so the newt's not here. We have to, <laughs> we have to find the newt. The newt is invisible. Let's go look for it. There is another equipment over here. So you ready for this absolute cheese? We're going to grab, <laughs> we're going to go grab a radar scanner to scan for the newt. And then we're going to go look for the newt. Uh, with our vase. It's a perfect combo. Here we go. Scan. Give me where the newt is. Tell me where it is. What are we looking at? Oh, wait. I didn't even checked. Oh, my God. I'm so dumb. I realized it right before it even went there. Of course, it's in a little... How did I not remember that spot? That's, like, the easiest one to know. Hello, Mr. Newt. Thank you. And, uh, I think we're ready for teleport. I think we've looted everything. We don't really need to get anything else. We have a mountain shrine enabled, so we might as well just make it happen. Mountain shrine, one turret, two turret, three turret, mountain shrine, here we go. Missiles everywhere. We won't crash here for sure. Overloading Z construct. Ew, dude. But we are seeing, okay, a teeny bit of frame drops. Not much, but a little. And another, oh, wait, hold on. Yeah, yeah, there was some lag. Okay, we're going to do a planula. Just because, you know, a little bit of extra health for these guys when they get hit. So to keep them alive for a little bit longer. It becomes less viable, of course, the farther in a run you are, but whatever. Hello, Mr. Newt. Uh, one, two, three, boom. Clover, clover, clover. And we kept the vase because why not? We don't need the other one. Oh, I didn't mean to buy another. No, <laughs> we have to get our feather back and wait up. Oh, actually, hold on now. So we might have lost our ATG, so let's just buy one of these, because we can. And let's get our ATG back. We don't want more ATG, because that's more damage. We don't need damage, we just need... We need our wax quill and our feather back. We... Have we only gotten three greens this whole time? What the? All right, Mr. Newt, how much damage do we do to the Newt? That's the question. Here we go. With... Okay! Okay, that's significant. 115 bleed too, yeah dang. Oh, something else I realized? My main attack is like quick. Like we fill it up really quickly. So we can actually start to like not even use the turrets. Obviously we will, but we, we gotta just start throwing these things all over to proc stuff. Oh, our first scavenger. Okay, let's see how we do here, right? We have obviously tons of missiles going over. We have more on the way. ATGs go, well, okay. Okay, it's just that simple then. Look at the chaos that ensues. I mean, just with my, this is literally I'm holding down M1. Like this is just my primary attack. All of these guys are dead. It's, <laughs> I mean, we are getting somewhere quite quickly. We get the new and another item here, boom. Just another mocha. We have all three turrets. We've hit the teleporter. I'm ready for this. 
Stone Titan right here. We got a couple of them. Uh, they're not going to last long, but our frames, look, our frames are going down a little bit. Nothing too crazy yet, but we're only on stage seven. I don't know if we'll get there, because obviously our damage is quite high, so we might have to stop getting damaging items. I mean, really, we aren't now. Fire rate, regen, scrap, and clovers has nothing to do with damage, so I'm hoping we can make it happen, but, uh, oh, I don't know. Look at these guys go from doing absolutely nothing to turning on. When something spawns, like, uh, just look at it. Immediately, missiles firing out everywhere. It's almost like their projectiles are just missiles. They don't have to worry about anything. They don't even shoot bullets anymore. They just shoot ATG. Okay, now here's the thing. We're going to do a clover. We're going to do a clover. And this one genuinely actually is going to, like, surprise you. I'm going to do head stompers. I'm not going to stomp. Just to avoid fall damage, that's really all I want it for. <laughs> Other than that, we're good. I don't actually think we'll die from fall damage at any point this run. But I don't. I just don't really want to risk it. You know, we just don't really need to. I don't really think it'll be you know a, a big issue but i just i don't want to i don't want to test it you know i don't really want to be that guy who puts it to the test and fails all right void seed immediately going crazy void seed is going to be very helpful for what we need to do here so just as many missiles as we can everything proccing atgs everywhere put my turrets down look at this it's chaos i mean it is chaos the void devastator is done let's begin to loot teleporter time i'm gonna do three turrets all with bongus we're gonna send out everything we got Grove tenders, all of them stand no chance. I don't even want them to try. I don't even want them to try. It's just, we, we aren't really that close to crashing the game, to be fair, but boy, do we have a lot of missiles in the air. That part we do have. Oh, we almost just died. Okay, so a Dio's is up next on our list because, yikes, and call me crazy, I'm gonna take an Aegis. I'm only taking it, okay? Because we have so much Bungus, and I'm going to pick up a Rejuve Rack next time. So that way, when my turret's on the ground, look, we got Barrier now. Even more shield, they'll last for longer, more procs, everything's great, everyone loves life. How are we feeling if we shoot at this guy? Do we have our turret shoot at him too? Oh, okay. We got, we got over halfway there. Our turrets aren't shooting at him at all. They don't seem to care. Turrets, I would have liked you to, you know... Maybe care a little bit about me, but hey, we did about half of the new. We're feeling good. All right, Mr. Gup, what do you got for us? Wow, you die so fast. You just instantly die. I need you guys to live for a little longer so I can, you know, have a chance of crashing the game. Okay, I'm glad I got the Dio's because Jesus Christ, did that, uh, did that stone titan just rip? I mean, oh my God, that just ripped through me. We have 11 repulsion armors and that thing just obliterated me i need that rejuve rack and uh maybe a, oh is that a blazing is that why is that why i got absolutely ruined okay give me that rejuve rack real quick so that we can get our uh our bungus healing let's put up a couple of this and this and this and let's get some aegis up in here there we go now we got aegis it'll uh slowly drain we can always just kind of hop back in the circle or just stand still for half a second and build it right back up. Oh, and that's... Oh, uh, before I grab the Dio's, it's going to save my life. Let me deal with this little guy. I mean, everything dies quick. So let's grab this so we don't, you know, perish in the run. I'll be honest. This is looking a little bit interesting. I know this happens almost every time. Where every time we're like, ooh, are we going to do it? Are we not going to do it? I don't know about this one. I felt very confident coming in. Now I'm losing faith. All right. The stage has been looted. The... Uh, everything is ready. We are putting our... Oh, it's a scavenger. Oh, interesting. Oh, he died. Just kind of hoping he would last a little longer. Cannot lie to you. <laughs> I mean, the frames did go down a little bit, but I was hoping they would be uh, gone. Don't worry, guys. I upgraded the Bungus. We, every single item that just came out of that scavenger is now Bungus. So look at the radius on this. Everyone's got full Aegis. Everyone's got full health. Now we're feeling good. Mr. Newt, I've come to see you once again. Oh, a clover. That's exactly what we're looking for. Oh, we have a mountain shrine. Mountain shrine is good news. I would love like a quintuple mountain. Give me like eight mountain shrines, right? That's kind of what we're looking for. Because I need enemies that can actually sustain all the damage we're doing. And then we can do, you know, maybe some crashing. Because look, the Z construct, right? It's going to get hit by these things. And then all these ATGs and it's gone, right? It just doesn't last very long. This guy, however, right? I don't know what he's going to shoot me. I'm kind of scared. 
This little guy right here, I don't know if he's, you know, that scary. Okay, yeah, he's not scary either. He's done. Um, <laughs> I mean, good on him, right? Good on him being strong. But we need somebody who's actually going to last a long time and be able to kind of fight us a little bit. Okay, I did not see a second mountain shrine. So it looks like we just have to do the one. Did I hit Newt? I think I did. Did I have a... Yeah, I did. Okay, here we go. We are looking for maximum crashing. We have a Z construct. I'm going to throw these instead of my missiles. Oh, okay. Okay. I mean, that that's pretty good. In terms of just missiles alone, that's decent little bit. I mean, look, we're framing. And there we go. We have 29 clovers. I love a good Titanic planes. 29 clovers going into the final loop. This is the last loop we're going to do. Okay, after this, we're going to Mythrix. Let's test it out. Can we kill the newt? Here we go. As much as we can. I mean, look, we're kind of flattening out. That's good, though. It's good that we're flattening out on damage. We just need fire rate as high as it can go. We don't necessarily want to do a lot of damage like I've been saying. So, we'll see. There's a chance. We have a Scavenger. So, we're going to take a look at what the Scavenger has to offer. Let's put down a couple of these guys and see if they want to do it themselves. Obviously, we're going to have stuff going in that. Oh, my Jesus. Oh, my Jesus, Lord. <laughs> these scavengers just don't stand a chance. Another scavenger. I don't think he stands a chance either. I don't know if he knows how bad it is for him. But it's just, I mean, it's almost embarrassing. I feel a little bit bad about it. All right, well, no mountain shrines to be seen, at least that I saw, so let's put one of these down. Mending Stone Titan, let's put a couple down. We're gonna want as much, uh, just chaos. See, okay, good lag, right? That's good. That's what we want to see. Frames are low. Oh, my. <laughs> Getting really low. Okay, okay, so by the time we get to stage five, we might be able to make this happen. I mean, hey, we're really low right now looking at below 10 FPS, but I I think we're getting out of this one just fine. I do know how to end the run, though, right? And here and here we can end the run right now. I just need to grab Molten Perforator. And I can almost guarantee you, we crash the game next teleporter event. The question is, do I want to do it, right? Do I want to do that, or do I just want to let the missiles outplay? Because we've done the, uh, we've done the Molten Perforator before. Our very first crashing the game with missiles, I counted Molten Perforator as a missile. Should I have? I don't know. I did it. So if you want to go see that, go check out that video. But today is all about Engineer and pure ATG. And so for our item right now, we're going to hit up. A glue. I don't think our turrets will really ever fall below 25% health at this point just because they're so strong. But a gloop with really high attack speed is really fun. So if they happen to get to that point, we're good. We got an overloading worm as the boss. Uh, ooh, okay. Okay, overloading worm. I see the lag coming in. This is promising. I do not know if we'll crash this loop, but I mean, I, I have pretty good feeling about the Voidling if we can get there, because this is only stage three, and every time we get more and more Clovers, and just, we have, how much attack speed do we have now? We have 21 Mochas, and we have, what are we looking at, 80 Syringes, so our attack speed, insanely high, and our chance of an ATG, obviously, insanely high with 42 clovers look at the amount of regen scrap we have 45 so we can do one two three four five six seven eight nine <laughs> nine more clovers so we have uh some really intense void enemies so what we're gonna do i'm going down here we're placing three turrets oh we almost just died this time we have dios though uh with this many clovers I'm trying to lag the game out right now. We're going for it at this very moment. The Dio's, how many do I have? Two? That's more than okay. We might, I don't know if we quite do it here. I'm gonna try just to throw missiles out everywhere. I can't see anything. We're looking at just like one or two FPS right now. Health is back at full, which is fine. And it looks like the frames, oh, I died. <laughs> oh no, one of my turrets did. The turrets have Dio's too, I forgot. I saw a little revive symbol and thought it was all over. Look at the... It just Stone Titan can't even take out the turrets. That's how beefy we are. Okay, unfortunately, no mountain shrines were found. So we're hitting this. We're putting down three turrets. We're, oh, I didn't do that right. I did that in a bad order. Oh, my. 
Oh, <laughs> oh my. Wow, they're already dead. It's just that simple. All the Elder Lemurians are gone. It's really messed with the audio, right? Our audio is like, it, 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 it doesn't know what to do. So that's good, right? We're getting there. I just, I don't know if we're doing it stage five. We might have to do it against either Mithrix or Voidling himself. Multiple overloading worms were in the combat shrine. So yeah, would have been nice if, uh, <laughs> if those came out during teleporter. I don't know if that would have done it, but where'd they go? Did we, did we kill him already? Oh, poor worms. All right, Mr. Newt, 65 clovers. This is the last time I'm gonna see you. So, for, for old time's sake. How are we doing? I don't know if our damage is going to go up or down, to be honest. Oh, it goes up. It went up a little bit. We had uh, some good procs. We have more ATGs. That might be the maximum. We're off to stage five. This is our last chance before. As you can see, I have a gun in my inventory. Before we get Molten Perforator just to absolutely end it. So whatever pops out, look at that over there. Whatever pops out on the teleporter boss, or we'll just hit one of these guys like that. If I decide to pick up this yellow. It means because we weren't able to crash the game. Once again, a map with no mountain shrines. I'm devastated. I really am devastated, but the teleporter uh, must go on. We have our yellow if we need it, but we're going to Mythrix this time. It begins, Mending Z Construct, put down three turrets all right here, throw our missiles into the sky and uh, we're not even getting that close. Although, well, well, I mean, we're getting kind of close, but I have very little faith we're going to crash the game during this teleporter. I understand we're down to one FPS, but I, I just don't think we're going to do it till Mythrix or Voidling. Oh, but hey now. Hey now. Oh, no. We were so close. If uh, all that has to happen, because Risk of Rain really doesn't crash, it will take... 30 minutes to go one frame, but it'll do it. The thing I need to hope for is that I can get that little bit that shows riskofrain.exe has stopped working. That is what we are trying to reach. Oh, okay. I don't know what happened, but, uh, oh, <laughs> we did it. <laughs> I have no idea what happened. I'm going to, I'm going to roll the footage back. I was literally just standing still waiting for something to happen. I don't know what occurred, but Risk of Rain .exe is not responding. We're kind of back. I don't know how to go about this, right? Because, like, we did it. <laughs> We're here. We do come back, but I think I count this a win. We have Risk of Rain too. I had to move over, like, the, the actual screen recording I had wasn't capturing it. We do come back, though, right? So do we count it? Do we not count it? I say we go fight Mythrix. We count this as a game crash because, hey, Risk of Rain 2.exe is what we're playing and it stopped responding. That counts as a game crash. Let's go check out Mythrix just for fun, though. And just just for the absolute fun of it. Let's freaking grab the Molten Perforator and get out of here before we crash the game while we're on this stage. Every Wisp, look at all the perfected Wisps there. I mean, we're at 122 minutes, so like, was it expected? Yeah, but look, look at all of them. They're everywhere. I don't really, look, there's gotta be, there's like 14 of them. This is a bad place to be. I kind of don't love it, so let's just jump and hopefully get up into the branches at least. Ooh, yeah, we're good. And boosh, we go up, and I hopefully we can use the rest of our jumps. Oh yeah, just barely, we're up here. I don't know if we get through this without crashing the game. Ooh, well, all my drones are dying. Drones, get up here, get up here, get up here. Oh my God, they're all dying. One, two. Oh, I didn't put a third down, that's okay though. Drones are up, I just saved their lives. You're welcome, drones. And Mythrix, I got one more turret to put on the ground. Wait for me. Cool, here we go. <laughs> Uh-oh. Ooh, the mold perforator is making it happen. Oh, we might we might have lost it all. We might have immediate we might have immediately crashed the game. <laughs> I, don't, I don't think we get past this part. Um uh risk of rain. <laughs> I knew the mold perforator would do it. Mold perforator with a lot of clovers is just so much stuff in the air. There was just no chance. I mean well, look at his health. We barely started. So now with the Molten Perforator, I'm gonna count it as a definite crash. All I hear is the whirring of the little drones, but we have very clearly ended this run. But I hope y'all enjoyed the engineer crashing the game. And with that being said, I will see you next time.